Hi there, welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about how I paint a figure without painting the figure in my paintings. Whether I'm painting on paper, watercolor paper, or on a canvas, the things I usually use is a wide brush, a little bit of acrylic paint, here I'm using Holbein's Marigold and Opera, some isopropyl alcohol, and some black paint, and paper towels for this demo. Again, it's all about how I do a figure in my paintings without actually doing the figure. It's kind of a fun way. We call it reductive painting techniques. Hey, I'm right here in my workshop, right now in the middle of one of my workshops. We're all here doing a mentor workshop here in my studio, and guess what? My students and painters, yay, painters and students, are here uh, watching me make a complete fool of myself. So, yay, and thank you for being here. This is just one of the crazy things we do here at the Bob Burridge Studio Workshop. So, let's get started. I'm gonna show you how I do my figures without painting figures. So the current technique that I'm using right now is a lot of fun, it's called reductive, where I actually wipe the paint away from the surface. So here are some techniques on watercolor paper, on canvases, where I put a lot of dark color down, and then while it's still wet, start to wipe away with a paper towel. Maybe I'll put some isopropyl alcohol on the paper towel. Here's another example. I put two or three different colors and drawing with even charcoal in there. And while it was still wet, start wiping away. It gets this great technique, what I call surprises. And uh, let me do one of them right now for you. So here's one of the techniques. I take, uh, here's some Holbein uh, Marigold and Opera. I squeeze it out a little bit here, just like this. Oh yeah, squeeze it out. And I take a paper towel paper towel and rub it into this particular thing happens to be a canvas. Use a little bit of water, really, really, really rub it in. Let the canvas go through so it's not so strong, just a little bit, just like that. And then I'll let it dry. And after it dries, I'm gonna put some dark paint, maybe this time a black gesso on top of it. And let's see what happens when I get to start to wipe it away. Watch this. And now the dark color. Here we go. I'm going to put it lightly on top of this using lots of water. Lots of water and lots of pigment. That's the other key. Look, it's still wet. A lot of pigment. And now comes the fun part, taking a paper towel. This happens to be a Viva towel that seems to be pretty strong. Soaking it with some isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. Right. All soaked in. Now I'm going to start taking it away. Look, here we go. Reductive, reductive, oh my. <laughs> this is so cool. Reductive. Now, here's a dry one. Come all the way down, all the way down to the gessoed paper, right? Got my classic pose, look at this. Oh, put the head up in here. Yeah, come back in here and start drawing it. It's still wet. That's why I like to draw on top of gessoed paper. Gives you a longer time to play, create. Look at this crazy drawing. Whoa, I like it. So that's just wiping it away called reductive. You can use water, wet towels, or see, still comes across and comes right off, still wet. Or when it starts to dry too much, use the alcohol on your, your paper towel. So it will take the paint out even after it's dried. But while it's still wet, I just use water. It becomes this miracle little figure with a lot of personality. So another way of doing what I call doing figures without actually painting figures. So you just saw some of my paint dripping down. All I had to do here while you weren't watching, take some of it off with a paper towel. And again, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. It doesn't matter if it's 91% or 70%, it seems to me it works really well. So here's some more of this paint. So it has dried an awful lot since we've last seen each other. So watch this, even with rubbing alcohol, putting it on the towel, I can continue another figure. So here we go. I always start off with the head, start off with the head. And if you've been into my some of my other workshops, remember, 
The way we do figures is we make carrots. I'm making a carrot here. Which is basically taking paint away using isopropyl alcohol. Look at that. It starts to paint itself after a while. Pretty creepy, actually, right? <laughs> Pretty cool. So that's how I create figures in my paintings, whether I'm doing landscapes or super abstracts, where you create this image of a figure by wiping away from a dark color background using rubbing alcohol. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Try it, it's a lot of fun. Take practice, practice, practice. It's great fun. Whether the paint's dried or even if it's still wet, Rubbing alcohol will take it away. Hey, I have some important announcements. Stay tuned. Hey, so welcome back. And here's what I wanted to tell you. One more final big trade show of the year, Art of the Carolinas. You've heard me talk about it all year long. It's a fantastic place. It's in Raleigh, North Carolina, of course, and it's sponsored by Jerry's Artorama. This is where all the manufacturers bring all their materials. Everything's like 50% off. It's a fantastic place. And they also let people like me come out and teach a couple hours every day. Workshops where you get to kind of a sample a little bit of everybody. It's fantastic. I love going there. Uh, check on their website. Go to my website, robertburge.com, and you'll see all the different classes that I'm teaching there. Hey, it's coming up next week, November 10th to the 13th. Go to my website to see all the classes that I'm doing. I'm doing two more also here. I got a little note here. Ocean Springs. Yay, Mississippi. I'm going down there November 16th to the 20th. It's loosen up and we're going to have different subjects. What a creative place. I love going there at Ocean Springs. So go to, again, go to my website and check out those workshops. Mexico, you got to go to Mexico with me. That's January 21st to the 28th. We got to go to Mexico around that time of the year, right? And that's where I go to. It's uh, Puerto Vallarta, about 10 miles south of Puerto Vallarta. So we have our own little wonderful little fishing village where we stay here. It's Costa de los Artistas. Go there. We stay there. They cook for us. We sleep there. We paint all day long. We have neat little side trips. I've been doing it for several years and all the, uh, a lot of artists go down there just to paint. I call it a paintcation. It's a great place, the sunshine, the ocean's right there. We paint all day long and that late night, it's fantastic. One of my favorite places to go. So check it out and you go to my website again and you'll see all the little nice photographs that we've done. So I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for sharing all your Bob Blasts. I really appreciate it. Take care.